Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist at Kiloview. As you can see in my back, today I'm at Kiloview's headquarters and I want to talk about the new firmware update of E3. E3 is our flagship encoder, is capable of HDMI 4K 30p and 1080p 60, up to 8 channels of streaming simultaneously, whether you use RTSP, RTMP, SRT or NDIHX. So, no further hesitation, let's have a look at the web UI. Okay, so first of all, log in our browser, put username and password and access our web UI. As you can notice, we got three main inputs. We got mix, HDMI and SDI. So now I've got two signals. I got a HDMI video and a SDI PTZ camera over here. Basically, we have the option to change the video encoding and the audio uh, tab. So on the video encoding, we got our encoding setting we can decide H.264 or H.265 and it could be different in between HDMI and SDI. We can decide the profile, the scaling, the color, the frame rate and of course uh, the bitrate control. We can decide whether using CBR or VBR, the gob size and so on. Over the audio channel tab, we're now able to not only do dual channel stereo pairs, but we can also do like four channels and mono channels and we can also remapping those channels in the way we like the most. Regarding the streaming service, we now have introduced a lot of other streaming protocols. We can stream over RTSP, RTMP, SRT, HLS, TSUDP and also RTP. This is really comfortable. So one of the cool features we got is the NDI HX transcoding. So whenever I open a studio monitor, for example, I can pick it up this NDIHX flow and stream it to whatever software we need like TriCaster, vMix, OBS, all done with really low latency. As a new firmware introduction we also added shortcut triggers so we've been able to get streaming and recording with just one single touch of a button into our E3. So if we go into the record and shortcut, you will find out this menu here, shortcuts. Here we can decide whether to get the shortcut record for HDMI, SDI or the mix inputs and the shortcut stream for both the three inputs. So let me show you also the picture in picture and picture by picture mode. We're gonna enable that and use the new shortcut to trigger our stream. If we go in the web UI, we select the mix mode we just simply enable that and we'll disable the SDI and HDMI but we can create stunning picture in picture and picture by picture mode. As you can see here, we got the video in the background and the PTC camera on the right corner. We can also decide to add things like overlay. You see I've charged some image. We can add our logo, for example, or the timing or even some sentence if we want to add some text. We can also use PNG with alpha channels so we can basically do our logo with transparency in the middle of the screen. After we do it so, basically we can create a few streams. Now I create an SRT gateway to go to YouTube in RTMP. So we're gonna go to recording shortcut again. We're gonna select shortcuts and at this time I'm gonna select a mix I'm going to select YouTube Gateway and also the record for the mix input. After I've done this so, I can be back from the web UI and basically just trigger everything from the E3. So now I'm going to tap in on the E3 and it will be automatically start to stream and record at the same time. We open our YouTube page and you can see the stream has been enabled. After we have recorded that so, we can simply tap again and download our recording file. If we access the web UI in recording shortcut, we can go into the USB drive, click on it and simply download our file. Then we can be play out that file into VLC or any other video program. You know what is also a cool feature? You can control your PTZ camera directly from the E3. Let me show you how. So this is my PTZ camera. If we go into the settings and go into PTZ settings and we enable this, 
we just need the destination IP and the port of the Visco over IP control. We click on apply, we come back on the home tab. So basically speaking, there's the PTZ button right here and we've been able to move the camera in each direction and also recall presets. So the E3 is your companion to each stream broadcast you need to do. Whatever SRT, RTMP, RTSP, and even NDIHX, you get to cover. So follow us on our website www.kiloview.com and for any technical support, send us an email at support at See you in the next one.